Thanks for joining us today on Ruffles and Rain Boots. We're making a patriotic Minnie Mouse flag frock. We're going to need paint pens and a small brush, a template, or make your own with circles, pencil, and a tape ruler and sealant. This is what we're going to make, and we're going to do kind of a different design. All you're going to do is first you know, create your three circles and your bow or use a template you find off the internet. What I have done is made it large enough, number one, to fit this rock and number two, to have 13 stripes. And what I did is I used the tape ruler to make a tick mark at one eighth of an inch. So I just, every single eighth of an inch, I just made that one of my stripes. And this is a rock, so it's not exact. If you'd like to be exact, you do you. However, uh, I mostly estimated it. Um, so here it is, outline is done, and now it's time for the fun part. Let's paint with red. So grab your red, and because I used 13 stripes, I started with red. Again, you do you, but it kind of looks weird if you start with white, so I'm just giving you a tip there. Start with red. Um, and here's the thing, if you mess up, don't worry, because we're actually going to be able to fix some of our mistakes. But the first thing we do need to do is lay down this red. So I'm gonna speed this up, and you're gonna see me painting super duper fast. And again, you'll see me mess up. <laughs> Um, I didn't go quite this fast, but I do believe rock painting should not take me a long, long time. And we were on our way to swim lessons, so hence the very quick idea here for my daughter. All right, so now do not move to white. We're gonna move to blue. We're gonna let that red sit a second and we're going to do the top part of the bow first. Now this depends on your bow, but I have um, a, you know, sort of a classic style mini bow that I wanted and I wanted the inside of the loops to be a darker color. And it's really easy to do that. Um, you're gonna get your black paint pen out after you fill in everything with blue. Um, we're going to add just a couple of dots of black paint. So here we go, filling in with blue, and then three or four dots with black. And then get your little brush and blend those a little bit. Now I added a little too much black on this very first one, so I'll wipe it off on my glove. You, you use a towel or whatever. And we're just gonna repeat that on the other side. And it's just gonna add a little bit of depth to our bow and make it just a little bit different than the um, main part of the bow. So here we are again. And now you're going to fill in the rest of this bow. If you've drawn the crease lines, don't worry, we're gonna color up those again later. So just fill it in and you'll outline this later so it doesn't have to be perfect. Now it's time for the white. We're gonna fix any of our mistakes, like these here all the way through here, and even cover up any pencil marks if you were like me and forgot to erase most everything on here. So I'm going to um, just basically go through here. I'm gonna clean up some of the red. If you do clean up the red, be sure to wipe the tip of your um, paint pen on something because you don't want pink. You don't want a pink flag. You want red, white, and blue. So I'm just gonna speed this up for you here. I'm so fast. All right, now we're gonna grab uh, the white again and we're going to add all of those outlines and crease marks again. And then we're going to start making the stars. Now, as you can imagine, this is a rock. They're tiny. I just did five little dots in the sort of shape of a star. Again, it's a rock, it's not exact. So I just did a couple of stars on each side and I'll repeat that on the other side here. Again, I'm just doing dots because I can't figure out a way to make these stars that tiny. And I'm using a fine tip um, paint pen here. All right, and our last step, which is fun, you can use black, you can use blue, you can even use red. We're going to outline the whole thing. Now do take a bit of care with this section. I will speed it up, thank goodness, so you don't have to sit through all this. And you can always fix your mistakes, like that right there. Uh, you can always fix your mistakes after this outline is dry. Again, I just went through and added a little bit of red or added a little bit of white, um, either on the inside or the outside of my outline. And I'm gonna speed it up because I'm already bored. How about you? And that's it for our rock. You'll seal it and you're done. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to Ruffles and Rain Boots.